Hey guys, Roz Green here with bloggingforfunandfortune.com and today I'm giving you a quick tip about how to count characters and words when you are writing articles or putting out blog posts. Every now and then you'll come up to a blog post or some sort of a box on the internet and you're going to type in some information and it might say you can only put 100 characters or you can only put 200 words or you can only put 50 characters and you need to know exactly how many characters are uh, will be found in the content that you're typing out. This tool is so amazing because you don't have to download anything on your computer. Um, it's 100% free. All you have to do is go to this website right here. It's lettercount.com. And when you go to that URL, put that in your browser, this is the page that's going to come up. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to use this simple little tool. Now, you notice at the top, there are two links. One link says characters and one link says words. So depending on whatever type of count you need, of course, that's the one you're going to click on. So let's, let's test this out. I'm going to click on characters. And now an empty box comes up. And all I have to do is select the content that I've written out already and paste it in this box. Now, the great thing about the way they have it set up, if you want to play around with it and see how it works, just scroll down to the bottom, select some of the content that they have here. I'm just going to right click and copy this and go back to the box and I'm going to paste it in. And notice that at the bottom, because I selected ca uh, characters at the top, there's a little uh, button that says count characters. All I have to do is click on that. And right here, you can see that there are 3,260 characters in this content. Very simple. All I had to do, again, was copy the content that I'd already written out. So if you've written your, your um, article out in Notepad or in Word or whatever it might be, all you have to do is make sure that you select the entire article and then paste the entire article in this box and it's going to give you that count. So I've got the characters, but let's say that I'm writing an article and I'm doing article marketing and I want to keep that article between 300 and 500 words. Well, I'm simply going to go and, and, I, and I need to get that count. I'm going to click on reset. When you click on reset, it clears out the box and now you can paste it again or paste some different content, whatever you need to do. All I'm going to do right now is find out what the word count is. I'm going to go back to the top, click the link that says words, bring up the new box, and now I've already selected the, the content, so I'm just going to right click and paste. And once again, the same uh, content is there, and now you'll see at the bottom it says count words. Before it said count characters, now it says count words. I'm simply going to click on that. And now I see that this is a document that has 468 words. So I know that if I'm writing an article that I'm trying to keep under 500 words, then I have accomplished that. Or, you know, if I'm writing an article and it gives me a limit of a certain a number of words, now I know exactly how many words are in this article. So, you guys, this is a tip, a tool that I think is, is a great tool and I, I do often just give you quick tips on things that I use and things that I find online because I think it's going to benefit anybody, again, who's a blogger, an article marketer, or you're making any types of posts online. This is a great tool that you can use. Again, it's at lettercount.com and you'll be able to find it. There are more tips and tools. If you want to visit my blog, feel free to hop on over to bloggingforfunandfortune.com. And until the next quick tip, have a great day. and. I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.